Hi all you beautiful people. I'm getting out all my Christmas stuff. And because uh, it's the month of December and uh, I love Christmas. <laughs> so we've got our Christmas tree stand here my husband fixed last year to make it really strong. Got a little little nisa. And um, what all sorts of different stuff. This is the cloth that we put under the Christmas tree. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is very simple and very natural. I don't know if I've shown this before. I think it was the, with the first camera I had. Yeah, I think I've made some little decorations. I just love this. It's from nature here in the month of December. Uh, the things that you can find and uh, I'm going to just make a, a little decoration to hang on a door. Uh, my husband's family is coming over on Saturday and um, it's lots of kids are coming also so but um, I just think it's so beautiful to use what what's here and I'll just get some string ribbon and we use the red the color red at Christmas time it's uh, the Danish flag is red and white and yeah we just use a lot of red so let's uh, get some scissors Creased, but uh, it's okay. That looks nice too. Let's cut it off there. And this string is a little bit big. <laughs> it's a little bit big and thick. Uh, you can also use some. You can use some. Uh, some of this metal, metal stuff, but you need some special cutters for that. So I've got them downstairs. So what I what I do is so simple. Is we just I love these too. They're really beautiful. The the, the color green is the color of new life. And that was, is what Christ is all about. New life in every moment. I'll use this for indoors. And we want some of the brown stuff. Mm. Some of this, these. There's from, they are from older trees. They're really lovely. It's the it's the female flower. Oh, wait a sec. I think this is the male flower and the female flower. Uh, this is the one from last year. These are the fresh ones that are coming now. Getting ready for next year already. And these are the, these are the, the cones from last year. But they're very lovely too, I think. Very lovely. Uh, it's just 
one of our daughters is just she is so good at this <laughs> she can make everything look so beautiful uh, I'm not I'm really not very good at this but uh, maybe that should go at the back that's better it's not so domineering and we want the little red ones but maybe we can have this has just got got some thorns on it Maybe put this in. Oh, does that look good? Maybe. Uh, that's okay. And now, for the finish. <laughs> We're nearly finished. As Mr. Bean says in the, the movie about the, uh, about the painting, it's just called Bean. It's so funny, that movie. And he's supposed to be a professor. Everybody thinks he's a professor, an art professor, and he's, of course, he's not. And he has to make a speech about this painting. <laughs> when he's been speaking for about a minute, he says he's getting near the end now. <laughs> We're getting near the end. He's so funny. See if this is a bit much. <laughs> oh, it's a bit much. So I can use these indoors. All these little. I just have these little, uh, little vases, little wide vases. I put. Uh, I'll just put this green on there. There we go. There we go. It looks beautiful. And now for the tying together and I'll use this because you can't see it because we don't want it to be too rough and messy just get my hand around this I could have tied it a few times I'm just, just getting it all together now this stuff is really great for making a rough I'll just get it really tight And then close it off by going, uh, how do we do that? <laughs> Use your imagination, Katrina. Here we go. I'll cut that off when we get downstairs. So, it's a little musical. Now, for the ribbon. Now for the ribbon. It's also celebrating life. I mean, uh, the, Christ the the word Christmas in Danish is Yule. Uh, it's the the wheel. The it's the old heathen, the heathen word, jewel, <coughs> jewel time. They used to drink and eat like pigs. <laughs> uh, and it never became Christ Mass here in Denmark. It's, we're just too uh, Viking. Uh, but the jewel, the, the, it's... Of course, it's, I mean, it's hundreds of thousands of years people have celebrated this time of the year. So it is really, um, it's a celebration of life and of uh, the coming of new life and saying thank you for all that was. And So it's an old celebration, this. It's not only the birth of Christ, but it's, it's also thanking Mother Earth for all the life and all the beauty and that we are given life. Uh, so it's also celebrating life itself and just saying thank you for life. And now Christ has become, become part of it. And that's beautiful too, because he's the inner life. 
so I'm going to put this on the door now and we can have a look what it gets to look like. So b before we go to hang it up, I, I thought I'd just read this channeling from the angels. It's a, a woman called Anne Albers. And I read it yesterday and it is so helpful for me. It is just so in tune with how I feel I'm learning at the moment. So I'll give it to you too. Just find it. from outside. The birds are still singing. So this is from the, the 30th of November and the angels say, My dear friends, we love you so very much. Your Mother Earth wishes to thank you. Earlier in the year she was so exhausted from all the bickering and tension among humanity that she wasn't sure she could hold herself together much longer. Like a mother, weary of hearing her children's arguments, she was ready to blow. However, through your prayers, your love and your kindness, you have soothed her hurting heart and given her the strength and incentive to remain steadfast in her unconditional love. The volcanic explosions that could have happened did not, and it is thanks to each and every one of you. Many of you who are sensitive were in tune with the earth without even knowing it. Many of you found yourselves weary and no longer willing to take on the drama of others, no longer willing to embrace one-sided relationships, no longer willing to pretend you were okay with situations and relationships that weren't authentically serving your joy. Dear ones, God has never asked you to suffer for the sake of others. This year, more than most, many of you woke up to that reality. Many of you are choosing more peace, more calm, more joy, more inner focus, more honesty, and more love. We in the heavens have been working with you very closely to keep you as strong, keep you strong, as you release an old paradigm of service through slavery and martyrdom. And you embrace a newer, higher vibrational understanding of service as giving authentically from your heart and your joy. As you approach the holidays, try to give from the new paradigm. Try to give what is joyful to give and focus more on the joy of giving rather than on the duty of doing so. Try to sink into your heart and ask yourself, how would I like to share my love with family and friends? How can I share from my authentic self? How can I be deeply honest with myself and those around me as I embrace the season? Look at the activities you love and those you'd rather leave behind and be true to yourself while being kindly honest with others. As you honour your own heart, you give others the great gift of permission to do the same. As you give from your joy, you feel joy running through your being. Grant yourself this honesty, this truth, and this joy, dear ones. 
then you become the light of the season, shining purely and clearly throughout your world. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels Okay, so let's go and, and hang up our little decoration. So here's the door, and I think I'll just. Uh... <laughs> oh no, we have this. We have this one from last year. I'll just hang it up on that. Oi! Oh, wait a sec. Let's use both hands here. Here we go. All done. Thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful season, my friend, and I'll talk to you soon. See you!